Hi good people, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shandi Bandash and I am a web developer based on WordPress and Laravel. I'm here to guide you how you build your business website from the beginning and how to boost your business online. Today I will guide you how you can design a coming soon page or an under construction page in a few minutes. In this video I will guide you step by step on how you can install WordPress on your cPanel hosting, how you can remove WordPress junk that comes with WordPress installation and then I will guide you on how you can optimize your WordPress website for fast look. Then I will guide you how to design a creative landing template for your coming soon page or under construction page. On this under construction page I will guide how you can add clocks for timestamp form for subscription. In this video I will use as a theme extra and as a page builder elementary. So before wasting more time let's dive into the video. For this video I will use WordPress hosting from Juno host. So to first of all I have to log in my account. After logging my account I will see the home page and by clicking the services my services I will see the my product here and um, by clicking on the product I will log in into the cPanel here already I have purchased a domain which is sandy das sandydust.com you can see there is nothing on this website is blank so first of all I will install SSL for this domain to install SSL, I'm in the secure SSL. I'll write SSL here. I'll click on SSL TLS status. If your SSL is not activated yet, then uh, you have to click on checkbox to check mark all of those items and run SSL. It will take a couple of seconds to complete the activation of SSL. You know it's most important part for any website you have to make sure you have a secure site mm -hmm. yeah here is the notification the office is activated and it will take uh, a refresh okay the SSL is activate, activated so let's dive to install the WordPress to install WordPress I will scroll down and find the app called software colors app installer by clicking on the WordPress, I will install the WordPress inside my domain name. So to install WordPress, I will click install now. Here you can see the HTTPS is activated and the domain name is perfect and we are using the latest version of the WordPress. So I will write admin name so as admin name I will use my name and uh, as a password here you can see the password uh, strong 65 out of 100 so I will make it more strong yeah here you can see the password is 100 out of 100 percent strong so I will keep I will keep this password stored into my another text file and then I will use an email address my email address so then I will act auto activate it when install the WordPress this plugin like uh, the lo limit login items and the classic editor it's most important plugins for any WordPress sites so then I will activate a few advanced feature which is most important to make your website more secure so click on advanced option and change the WordPress prefix database prefix to something like a B or something like that whatever you want but you have to avoid the default and WP okay so I am, I am avoiding default up to be to something like that and something like that and after that everything is done from the end and I have to click the install so after clicking the install, it will take a few seconds to complete the installation process on my domain. Here you can see that still my domain is coming blank. So 
yeah it's done do you see uh, congratulations the software installation comes successfully so let's see by clicking here yeah the site is live the old one is there so if i refresh the old one so the wordpress is ready to use so let's log in into the wordpress dashboard to log in the wordpress dashboard we have to write uh, the domain name write up the domain name wp admin and we will see a login dashboard logged in for these steps i will guide you how you can remove the junk the junk pages the junk uh, post which comes with automatically after wordpress every wordpress installation so i'll click on the post and here is the junk post i have to remove every junk post from here and click on trash and click permanently apply after that the pages will found a simple and a privacy policy phase which comes with automatic by what person has listened and remove those and the trash and going the delete permanently and also the second one and delete permanently after that we will remove the junk plugins like the Akismat and Tsmap which is not important for us and also the hello dolly which is not important to us okay so after that i'll go to the settings and the general which is most important for any site the site title and the site tagline so you have to write your site title for now it's appearing my blog on the site title input box also you can see here it's appearing my blog and when you click on the visit site you will see the top it's appearing my blog so i'll write my name and the tagline is a your website developer and as you you can see the https already enabled that means your site is secure then regarding the site language you can change the site language whatever you want if you are uh, seeking your mother language so you can select uh, whatever you want from your end from mind the english is okay then after that the date format and the time format you can change whatever you want as per your requirement even you know the time zone is the most important part for a, any website so i recommend you um, when you design or work on this part or you work on this section you may change the time zone as per your time zone so i will keep as it is and save change here you can see the site title is changed also let's refresh the page the site title is changed and it's appearing nothing here so for now we have to install the important themes and the plugins so let's click on the theme from wordpress installation uh, here you can see the three themes comes automatically so i don't need three all of those themes for now we have to click remove the unwanted themes like the 2019 we don't, we don't need these themes for now or for future 2020 yeah that's great so for our website we will use extra theme to add more themes I will click on the themes and after that add new and here you can see wordpress database uh, and many themes here even you can search from here if you know the name of the your desired theme so as i told you before i will use the extra theme i will type here extra that is the extra theme you can ask me why i have selected the extra theme Astra, I selected the Astra theme. It's because this theme is lightweight. 
and superb customizable theme even uh, if you want to go the premium package of this extra theme it's reasonable only 47 USD per year so this is the more region and on another more region I will tell you later let's install the Elementor Pro and Elementor plugins as a page builder so I'll write here Elementor And here you can see the Elementor website builder. It's a free version of Elementor, which comes with a very basic feature. But for our website, for this project, we will use Elementor Pro to adding clocks and to adding a dynamic forms. So our Elementor is ready, and our themes is ready. So for now, I will install important elements of this theme so let's click on astro options here you will find the feature of the astro pro which is most important for design a good looking website for now we don't need those because we are installing a basic coming soon page so I'll click on Install Astra Important Plugins. Then Elementor. Yeah. Here you can see why I have selected the Astra. This is on another reason I have because of selecting Astra. The Astra comes with a huge list of pre-made templates you can use your website. So for now, as you know, we are using free version of this theme. So I will check the free templates. Yeah, you can see in the list of free templates, here are lots of templates in this list. So you can select any one of them. Okay, we'll guide you later in another video how you can select a free template and how you can build a free website from your range without hiring someone or without expensing more money. Okay, let's install Elementor Pro. To installing Elementor Pro, uh, you have to download, you have to, sorry, you have to purchase Elementor from Elementor.com and here is the Elementor Pro pricing. Yeah, it's 49 year, it's quite reasonable, I think. So to purchase this, you will go with this one. As per, uh, for this project, already I have purchased this package uh, to guide you about this video. And I have up downloaded the uh, plugins into my computer. So I will upload those plugins. To uploading new plug plugins from your local computer, you have to click on plugins and add new. And here you will find the upload plugins. Uploading into my representative, then install now. So we have activated these plugins for this project. And we have to connect this Elementor Pro plugin, Elementor Pro plugin, to activate into my domain. Let's click on Connect and activate it. So already I have logged in into my Elementor Pro dashboard, Elementor dashboard, Elementor dashboard, myElementor.com, and I have to click on Activate. Here you can see the Astrodas is activated. Okay, so let's design a beautiful creative template for the coming soon page elementor tools by clicking on elementor tools we will found a menu item called the maintenance mode it's a tab so we'll click the tab called maintenance mode and here you'll find to enable maintenance mode you have to set a template for the maintenance mode page okay so we have to click on the create on so we will write here the 
page name is called the coming soon. You can write the maintenance or anything whatever you want, but you have to remember the name. Then click on publish. There is the feature called Editor Element. Here is the feature called Editor Elementor. Then click on Edit with Elementor. Wow, the Elementor base builder is loaded nicely. So we have to make sure to avoid default page layout, we have to click on settings from the bottom left corner and the page layout, Elementor Canvas. It's most important. By clicking on the Elementor Canvas here, you will see there is nothing. So it will blank. Update. And then click on advanced, sorry, style. I'll select a color for the background for this page only. Okay, that's great. After that, I will click on the plus button to create a section and here. And I'll click here content width will be post okay the column gap for fake the height will fit to screen or you can select the mean height i am i think the best way to click on the fit to screen then it will appear on the full screen for any device and the content position is middle it's okay and stretch section is perfect okay so for this section let's so to creating a background i will use gradient and the color as our background, it's nice. And the second color, like this. You see? And we can change the location of this color. Did you see? It's, I think it's nice. Okay, fine. And the angle of this color, yeah. Left angle or right angle. Yeah, so it's good. And if you think make it more lighter, okay. It's nice. You see? So then click on the this button, then write the heading here. Just drag and drop here. So I will write her website launching soon. Website I will select a one tag and element will be center style and I will use any dark color like that and typography I will select the type font family as a moolish i like this font is it nice than before i think yes so transform uppercase and the font for okay the font rate 900 did you see is, is it great i think it's great set launching soon Okay, so how do we have to do? We have to ensure about the responsive issues. I mean, when someone visits from the mobile or when someone visits from the tablet, click on there and click on the font size. Yeah, so I think this we get. And for the section, I have to apply a padding called top. 100 pixel and bottom 100 pixel. Okay, that's good. Did you see? Then the tablet, yeah, 
you have to make the change for the font size for tablets. Yeah. It's good. I like the large font. I don't like a small or tiny font. I know many people design their website uh, using a very small font and people have to read the text by using microscope. So then I don't want you people see my text using microscope. You have to see your fresh eye, right? Okay, the text is ready and then we'll add a clock. A countdown clock, it's nice. Did you see? Yeah, the countdown clock is ready. First of all, we have to select the, our desired date when we have planned you know, to launching the site. So from my end, I am selecting 25. And that means it's remaining only 14 days. That's great. So let's, if you want to avoid any part, like you don't want to share the seconds or minutes or hours, then you can just disable those part. Like I'm avoiding the seconds or minutes or days. Okay. So from my end, I think day, hour, and minute will be good. Second is not mandatory from my end. Okay. So upper the edge, we will click on style. Then change the container layout like that. Okay. And the background color will be similar to this background. Yeah. It's great. Okay. Then border radius, we will select a few radius like 10 pixels or five pixels will be great. Okay. We'll add a border. If it's important, if you think you are going to adding a border, then you can click on border type and solid or whatever you want. And you can select the border size and the border color. So I will select this color. Yeah, it's good. But if you don't think you don't need border, then yeah, you can avoid this part. Let's go to the content. And regarding the digit, the 14, the 23, the mini, 51, the digit, we'll change the font as we selected before the moolish. And we'll select the 800 which Did you see? And also we'll change the color of this font. Yeah, and the typography, we have to change the typography. We have to follow one font. We have to stick one font, one font type, then size, okay, color, okay, then we'll use the line height. Yeah, that's great. And do you think the uppercase will be good? Yeah, since we are using the uppercase on the top, then I think it's really good. it will be okay. So change the color. Is it okay? Yeah, I think it's okay. Did you see? So let's see if I add the second and how is looking? Yeah, it's good. So keep this, keep the seconds. Oblige. Okay, no, I don't, uh, I'm not going to add any more custom levels. So on the website launching soon is okay. The clock is ready. Then, as I mentioned earlier, we will add a form. It's a nice and good looking form. Let's click on the form and I will click on the form here. Yeah, 
it's the last form i don't i don't need this right okay so keep the name and the email okay then remove the message and avoid the level and change the name column y to 30 percent okay and the mail email 40 percent and the button obviously the remaining 30 percent did you understand about these things if i divided yeah, the 100 percent so i keep the name 30 percent and the email 40 percent and remaining 30 percent i have added for the buttons so small to change medium okay is it nice yes i think it's more better than before okay so it's okay right perfect so let's uh, redesign the form field everything so first of all let's click on the field and change the field color to this or if you want you are stick with the transparent color then you can go yeah this is the transparent color and the text color will white you see and for this field i will use again the movie font and the type should be 600 uh, 700 is the okay 700 then the font size will change the font size to a little larger i can pixel okay so let's click on the buttons for the buttons this is the next and submit button we will change the color to our base color i mean the parent color like that okay um, the button i think the larger and big good yeah large yeah. so keep in mind when the field font size 18 so we have to make the button font size is similar than fields similar of fields the mulish and the agent okay and the color line height values yeah and I will change the type, I mean the same text to subscript now. Subscript now. And change the text to field, sorry, buttons, typography, and the transform to uppercase. It's because we have selected everywhere the uppercase. But if you want, you can select, uh, you can write the lowercase or whatever you want. And also we'll change the font color of this button. Yeah. It's a little highlighter than this font. And border radius should be five. And we also we have to add a border solid border on this button but if you think we don't need then okay avoid that okay i think we have to avoid the border we don't need the border looks ugly yeah did you see okay so let's uh what will be appear on someone hover on this button let's change the hover color to background more lighter Yeah, little lighter than the current one. Did you see? Lighter, you see? Okay, it's great. It's awesome. Okay, so the subscribe now. It's ready. So for now, uh, here you can see the, for, uh, the form field is quite wide than the above. So we will add an inner section on this area. And remove the light column. We'll move this form into the area. 
and it will change the white. So let's change the subscribe now font. Yeah. I don't think it's is it okay? It's because the email should be larger. So let's change the bottom 30% as before and the email let's change to 40%. And we'll make little larger. Yeah. It still should be a little larger. Okay, and it should be a little large, 4.5 or something like that. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, 4.5. Oh, again, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, give it 4.1, yeah. So what we can do, we can uh, do it a little creative way. Let's take a line. Or call a divider. Then click here. Yeah, we'll change the icon. Cox mode that means the icon station mode. Okay, so okay, and change the color to the divider. Did you see? Okay, and change the icon color to more white, yeah, change the divider color, line color to a little smaller, okay, check this out, oh, is it launching soon, is it good, I think, okay, so our subscribe are ready, so let's do a few development part to connect our email address with this form. Or if you have a MailChimp account, MailChimp call the CRM of email subscriber. You can create a MailChimp account and get an API from them to connect using form for your website. But for now, I will use my email address. Here you can see the email, it's appearing. And I have written already my email address. It's comes with automatically by default admin email but if you want to change this email then you can write whatever you want and the new message from the Sunday vendors or you can write new subscriber okay and after that this is not a hint I will click on the after action submit we don't need the colleague submission the simple email and what field we are going to receive we don't need the remote sorry carriage we just need the page url user agent and the remote ip okay then the final option the message the custom message i mean when someone click on subscribe now and what you want to add, show the people the form is sent successfully the success message i think I will write the not notification plans. Thanks for subscribe. Okay, or thanks so much for subscribe. Thank you so much for subscribe. Okay, that's great. 
and final part we have to make sure the form field emailed is keep as required it's most important and the name also keep as it is required okay our site is ready and before going live let's check the final part the responsive issues yeah so we have to change the mobile version of this site okay so first of all let's change the clock for the mobile version click on style and content the font yeah is it good i think 25 will be great and the text font and the level font will be little than yeah and the boxes the space between we will remove the space i mean reduce the space to five pixel and the padding we will add the padding yeah did you see is it looking good or great i think it's looking great from the phone you will see like that the website launching soon and the subscribe now button and the form okay so update let's see for the tablet yeah the tablet looking good and okay the tablet looking good okay then fine okay did you see the subscribe now is taking two line for the tablet we'll change the button font for the tablet yeah did you see okay is it great it's yes it's good let's check one second from the tablet people will see like that and we'll change to container to more larger yeah from the tablet will appear like that from the mobile appear like that and from the desktop okay our work is done let's click on this menu item and click on exit to dashboard okay so the template we have designed we have to activate this template by clicking on the elementor and the tools let's go to the maintenance mode and the choose mode a coming soon or the maintenance whatever you want i will click on the coming soon and uh, choose the template coming soon save change our work is done the maintenance mode is on here so let's save the website from another browser in the firefox so i'm checking from the firefox wow it's great right let's have a spirit send it on this okay did you see is it nice yeah this appearing it's like too dark so if you think we are going to change little then yes we can okay let's go and click on edit templates okay the form subscription notification message right you click on a style you'll find the little message here and the success message will make it white and the error message make it yellow okay and inline message color we don't need the inline message color but now we can keep it orange Update. okay let's check it once again reload the page if i try to subscribe without submitting the name it will not take okay the please fill out the foils okay it's great 
send if and does and the email address let's check oh okay hello okay subscribe now yeah thank you so much for subscribing okay my friend thank you so much for keeping patient to watching my video if you like the video feel free to subscribe for more upcoming videos about wordpress laravel and website maintenance or if you want to design your website you can ask me if you have any question do leave in this comment below that's it for today have a great day